All smiles here at the SU Soccer Stadium. Alex Bono, bobblehead night, off the field and on the pitch. SU with a 3-0 victory over Ohio State. Dana Gray here alongside Jack McMullen and Jack Syracuse extends its longest winning streak of the season to three and they did it in impressive fashion offensively with a couple of key guys offensively. Absolutely and it was the Ryan Raposo and Massimo Farron show. In the early going it was Ohio State that really had the opportunities and it, I mean you see early on this is a chip shot that almost finds twine over Henrik Hilpert and he really had to make full extension and the crossbar was his saving grace. You wonder what this game could have been like if that one actually goes in, but Syracuse keeps it scoreless, comes back on in the attack, and Farron with his first, and no surprise, it's coming from Raposa. We kept talking about missing Tejan Buchanan and Hugo Del Hamel, the guy with the ball right there, and Buchanan's connection, but instead, how about the Farron-Raposo connection? You saw Raposo to Farron, and now you have Ryan Raposo, the freshman, stopping on a dime, and his heart rate not fluctuating in the slightest. One of the nicest finishes you will ever see SU up to going into the halftime break. And then things starting to get pretty physical. Kamal Miller mixing it up. And then Bright Moser, a great slide tackle, but things picked up quite a bit. It, it just felt a little bit aggressive and it felt frustrating. And you see a fifth year senior right there, Brady Blackwell, getting involved in a way that he shouldn't at, on a dead ball. And then Farron with some time and space. He finds Twine for goal number two of the evening, and that would be all the scoring and all she wrote. SU wins it by three goals and dominant in the shots category as well. But the thing to highlight there, Jack, the fouls, 13 for Ohio State. They haven't won since August. Things are getting frustrating for them. And the bulk of those came in the second half because Ohio State was down two goals at halftime. And Farron just added insult to injury. Massimo Farron and Ryan Raposo were in control of the ball, and Ohio State got really fed up with that. Syracuse makes it three victories in a row for the first time all season in large part Thanks to that man, Massimo Farron, the Orange win it 3-0 over the Buckeyes.